Welcome to the Guild, a new SMP in the 121 update where members are all a part of a guild working to complete specific tasks each week to earn points and level up in the guild ranks. The server will change to hardcore mode partway through to increase the challenge and risk to completing these tasks. By the end of the series, the surviving member with the most points wins. We all started at spawn with Brook and Drift explaining how things would work on the server. Once we complete a weekly task and dye the task we completed our color, we then add a piece of colored concrete powder to show we've completed our task. Once a task is complete, we can also also press the button under the fountain to get a reward. Once we all understood how leveling up in the guild ranks would work, we all ran off to start exploring and punching some trees. Not before we pushed Drift into the closest pit we could find. With Drift thrown into the pit, it was time to go find some resources with Sev and Sparkle. Yeah, later losers. Bye, Just kidding, you're wonderful. Later lo yeah. lovelies. I'm gonna punch a birch tree because I'm cool. How we all we make all crafting. <laughs> our own crafting table. Just oh my gosh, we literally, literally did it. <laughs> we just We are strong, independent Fine. women. We do not need to share them. <laughs> press advancement, press advancement. Yes. Oh no, wait! No, you're gonna die, Sev, Sev, Sev! Oh, oh, oh. I save. What the what I save her, I die. Oh save got a bow! I have a bow yeah. now. We upgraded our tools and went fishing for some food, grabbed some coal to smelt up our fish, then Sev, Sparkle, and I found Knives Bow and Brook, and we kept adventuring together to find a cave, and I took my first nap. Once we found a decent cave, we were immediately met by a bunch of creepers, which Sev and I took on so we could all collect up a bunch of iron and make iron tools, and our group may have done some advancement sharing to flex on the others. And I got a whiff of something stinky. Um, Sev, why do you have stink particles around you? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Caving has been too much for Sev. Wait, did you pick up the rotten flesh that I dropped and you ate it? <laughs> I didn't want to waste my fish. <laughs> After that, I then made some boots and went back to collecting iron. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Oh no. <laughs> mine. Bruh! <laughs> I would have shared, but you know, now I'm reconsidering. <laughs> <laughs> you should have oh, thought it. <laughs> After trolling Sev, Brooke stumbled upon a giant cave opening that Moon Intensity was exploring, so we set her spawn and made our way down to meet up with her, but that didn't exactly go to plan. Oh wow, this looks very ominous with the lava all around us. I'm scared. Whoa! Okay, nice, nice. Well, it's a good thing I reset my spawn. I just oh fell. God. See how there's water all around this block? This is where I died. Right here. Oh dear. The one block. Oh, yeah. Hey, I've got red head. Oh, oh my god. gosh. Oh no. Hey, you, you know what that means? You know what that means? Brooke is now what? a redhead. Ah. <laughs> we then found our first diamonds and passed them around to get those advancements. All right, who wants to hold them? Hold. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Cool. Did you want to hold the diamond? Get that advancement life? Mm. We're catching up to Moon. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I got a free dime. Okay, okay. Oh, in the water. Just clean in the diamond. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Later, I found a geode and made us all some spy glasses to share. Being stared at by those zombies. Just oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't you know it's rude to stare? <laughs> I then crafted my last piece of armor so that I finally had full iron armor. I got full armor. I'm not scared of you. Cherish zombies. Food, 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 food. Wait, yeah. did we run out of all the iron? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Brooke. <laughs> Pants. Uh. I parted it though. <laughs> After all the chaos of the caves, Moon let us out of the cave so we could all breathe some fresh air once again. Once we were out, we noticed an ice-capped mountain, and we went to collect some more iron there, and then after a bit, we parted ways with Brooke. I then noticed a goat on a mountain, so I decided to get an advancement checked off the task list at spawn. <gasps> Let's go! We got the first advancement! We will bring them home once we figure out where home is. So we're gonna just go off and wander with our buddy. I don't have hay or anything, so uh, this could take us a while, but I'm keeping them.
I'm leaving my little goat friend inside our boat for now because we can check off our little goal for the whatever floats your goat advancement. So I think if I just quickly grab my red dye and my glow ink, we will do whatever floats your goat and turn it red because, well, I, I'm red. So we are gonna go grab a piece of red dyed concrete to fill up mine. And honestly, I cannot remember which one is mine. So this one right here is mine. So then all I do is I grab a piece of red concrete powder and then I put that down here and we've got our first task completed. And then the way to get down is right down this tube. And that is pretty much all there is to this. And now we can see that we've got our first task completed and added into our tube. I'm super excited to work in this little build here, but now let's go figure out where we're gonna live. And I, I desperately need more food. I'm literally on my last two fish. So maybe we go kill some fish and then we grab our stuff and set up our little base camp once we get some food here. All right, now we can go and look for our home base. So that is pretty exciting. But I also know that when you complete your task, you can press this button. Oh, oh, to receive a reward. And it looks like we got a golden carrot. And I think I like the idea of having kind of a special spot for all of the items that we receive by completing our quest items. So I'm not going to actually use this golden carrot for food. We're gonna put it in an item frame or something, but also look at the new painting. Look at the little poppy on the little flower picture. It's so cute. I love that so much. Now we need to find our little area that we wanna set up base. Oh, and there's another sheep. So let me quickly just grab our last piece of wool. All right, we've got our bed, crafting table, and we have a little chest. And if I zoom out in free cam a little bit, you can see where we're going to be basing. It's going to be this circular island bit right here and this bit of land right here. And then this is kind of our path that leads directly to spawn. So we're really not too far away from spawn. We'll just need to make a path connecting so everyone knows where we live. But for now, I think I just want to set up my little crafting table and everything in this clearing right here. So we'll set our spawn, we'll get a crafting table and a chest, and we can start putting some of our little goodies in here just to free up some of our inventory space. So now it is time to clear out some trees, collect some resources, and start working on getting our house all set up.
Well, I certainly didn't expect to find a spawner while I was just collecting resources for building our house, but I mean, I will... I will gladly take it. Oh my goodness. I rarely come across spider ones, but let's see what we have in here. Some diamond horse armor. Not too bad. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. this is amazing. Oh my goodness. And what's super nice about this is there is a very high chance that about halfway through this server, we end up going into hardcore mode. So having this enchanted golden apple could literally save my life. And it looks like I already have someone trying to take my new little apple from me. That is not going to be okay, but oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, well, I guess uh, we take the quartz for this for sure. Now I'm gonna go back to mining up some of this iron and go back to mining up the tough so that we can grab all of the resources we'll need to build our house and our roof. As we mined further, we came across some diamonds, so we mined those up, dug down to Y level negative 57 to start strip mining for some diamonds, and then with no luck finding diamonds, we decided it was time to start heading back up to the surface, placing stairs as we went. All right, we are almost back out of our little cave session. Oh, and this feels so good to have it be light outside again. Oh my goodness, it is so good to be up at the top. I am so excited for these, but we are going to be building with these new tough bricks. We're gonna be building with the polished tough and with our spruce, we're gonna be using smooth sandstone and some regular sandstone. And I think it will be a really cool palette. We also need to go find a lush cave because I want to have my roof incorporated with moss and mossy cobble as well. And we need to go find a desert because uh, I'm also gonna want some green dye, but I might wait till Sav is back on and we might go on a desert adventure together because the other thing we thought would be super fun was to find a camel. So I think we're gonna see about doing that together. And I do want to make sure we have a diamond pickaxe to our name just to make things a little bit nicer as we go caving and mining for different things. After a good day in the mines and a good snooze, I logged off for the day and when I logged back on, Sab was online and making our area cozy before we went off on our desert adventure and she even left me a gift. Do I look? Yes, I made you a nice chest. Look. You're laughing already, I don't trust. <laughs> Oh my word, it's a poisonous potato. <laughs> hey, you wanted that in the caves. You were begging for it. You were like, food, 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 food. Flashback. Food, 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 food. End of flashback. I was starving to death. Now we have sophisticated fish food. Don't give this to my cat. No, my poor cat. <laughs> It's yours now, yeah. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll keep it in the chest. We can make this the snack chest for friends. <laughs> then whoever visits, we can say, we have special food for you. And then they Let's open. Let's to drift. There we go. Stinky potato for stinky friend. It's perfect. But look at you. You've been making some progress. We've got potatoes and carrots. We've got a little house. No stinky people allowed. Very good, very good, yes. Wait, <laughs> very innocent and ethical flower garden. Yeah, yeah well, it just my has some sounds. Farm. Oh my word, that's so good. And then uh, look at this, we're getting leather and steaks. Some nice food. Oh wait, we can sit down, right? Right? Yeah, look at that, it's so cute. Yeah, we can tell each other ghost stories when Spooky it gets dark. Oh, look at this, it's so cute. Yeah, there's a zombie coming for us. <laughs> Where? No, oh, no. hi. <laughs> I got you more snacks since you love them so much. Bruh. I know the perfect spot. <laughs> yes. There we go. Next, Sev and I cooked up some food for our trip to find a desert. We were looking for a camel and cactus and weren't sure how long it would take us to find one, but we ventured off hoping it wouldn't take us too long. Oh, 
this is such a drift pit. Oh my gosh, look at this. It even has a little jumping board. Like, to holy. Watch the oh my gosh, this is so scary. <gasps> Wait, we need to remember this. Down there. Oh, true. Wait, we can make okay, a diving I board. You, I dare you to jump. We'll both do it, okay? One at a time. It. Oh, I'm, I'm not scared. I know we will survive, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Bruh, you're gonna break the bed on me or something, I swear. No, I'm not gonna... That would be so annoying. That would be so too, mean. I have to wait. Yeah, you're like, all alone. To wait here. Jump, jump, jump. Wait, hang jump, on. Let me jump. see where the water is. <laughs> Are we ready? Ready. Jump, 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 jump. Ah. Walk the plank. Yay! Yeah! We survived. Okay, your turn. I'm scared. You got it. It's easy. I'm alive. We did it. Imagine if one of so us hit this. <laughs> we would have so died. After that pit stop, literally, we were back in our boat paddling through different biomes until we finally found a desert and discovered it had a desert village, which meant a camel was there as well. We did the classic raid the village for all the food and resources that it had before we started working to level up a leather worker to trade a saddle so we could ride our camel home. Oh my gosh, this is a big village. Okay, someone take it. Someone take a job. Oh, oh, this guy, this guy. Come back here, you stinky guy. Okay, he trades dyed leather garbage. Let's buy some. Oh, what a deal. Nice. Have some pans. So kind. I'll cherish them forever. Yes. We tried trading wheat with the farmers to get emeralds, trading gravel to get emeralds, collecting wood to sticks to trade to a fletcher. Seb showing me some cursed villager things. Okay, what? There. Oh my word, uh, what is happening? <laughs> we then found our first armadillo, so of course we had to go and show Sev. Look at him, he's so cute, look oh at him. Oh my, oh, my <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a stinky little guy. Yeah, he's so smelly. It. it has a tiny weird head. Isn't he cute? <laughs> it's so cute. It scares me and it's also cute. Hi, buddy. Also, it looks like a really thick worm. A really thick worm, you know? Like it has the rings too. It's like a yeah. really thick oh, worm. Look at you. Am I oh, on I your way? You. I think it just you. wants me to move. Got him. <gasps> yes, I was just grabbing a lead. Look how he runs. <laughs> oh, look at this little wiggly guy. It's so what? cute. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went in the water too. <laughs> After that cute distraction, we spent another hour collecting resources and trading up our leather worker until we finally had the trade that we wanted. Please level up. Yes, we got saddles. Really? Let yes. Me see, let me see, let me see. We got them. Oh, more scoot. Oh my gosh, all this hard work. You we did it. So Yay. Die. I mean, survive. After three hours of work and a saddle in hand, we celebrated by taking our camel for a ride around the village. I then looted a nearby savannah village, caught another armadillo to bring back, and heard Sev singing to herself. Bananas, bananas. <laughs> Just, Just saying, saying all the random song. things. Yo, yo. How are we going to get all of them home? We're going to put two of them in a boat and then lead the boat. Did I lead the boat? Wait, did I put the lead? Yeah, it's on the boat. Yours is on the boat. Yeah! Oh, look at that! Oh Ooh. You're gonna walk this into a water is the pit. Best water pit. Update ever. Oh my gosh. After testing out the new 121 leads on boat feature for a bit, we went looking for a second camel to bring home so we could breed up some camels. But instead, we found a mine shaft that had a minecart with a golden apple and another with a name tag. And we found the wooded Badlands biome that you can find one of the new dog breeds in. Once we had our new friends back at the village, Sev and I decided it was time to make our way back home. All right. Well, we ride back on land. Yeah. Oh, look at them fly. We keep flying boats. We. Wait, oh, that's so the funny. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is so good. One painful hour of traveling and stopping to grab a horse for Sev later, we finally arrived at home. It's a decently fast horse too. Look at it. Where are you? Oh, dang. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Horse. I have a gift for you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have a gift. Ah, oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Horse armor. Horse armor. Wait. Ooh. Yay. Look at you, Jesus. so fancy. It's so cute. <gasps> that horse is a four block jumper or three block. Holy cow, that's oh so gosh. crazy. It's 
Really? Wait, let's oh. test it. Ready? One, two, three. We'll test a three-er. And then one, two, oh, yeah. three, four. Wait, can it That's like actually four. jump on top of the three block? I wonder. Oh, oh yeah. That is such a good horse. Oh, we then saw Maggie was online and went to go show off our new camel to her. Oh. Yep. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes. There we go. Oh, okay, let's, let's do this again. Yeah. So like, yeah look okay, oh, wait, just wait, re reset, reset. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Maggie. How's it going? Hey, uh, whoa. Goodness, did you guys get a camel? We did! Yeah, so cool. Look at us. Wow. Isn't that cute? Wow, what's your camel's name? Uh, we named farts. them Chamomile. Middle name Camomile. Farts. Wow. Yeah. Chamomile Farts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So yes. she's stinky and soothing? Yeah, yes. exactly. Wow. A, nice a calming camel. scent. You know, wow. you know. Wow, wow. After introducing chamomile farts to Meggie, we just hung out and chatted for a bit to see how she's been doing. We had Drift even stop by, even though she wasn't even online, which was just crazy. We watched Sev ride down a massive waterfall, tested chamomile's jumping abilities, and then said our goodbyes and made our way home. At home, we discovered we had just enough armadillo scoot to make some wolf armor for our new doggos. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at this little puppy in this little outfit! Oh my gosh, oh my it's gosh. so cute! Wait, okay. Cute you must puppy. wear your... <gasps> Look at it! It's so cute! After Sev and I had a successful adventure to the desert and the desert village, I saw Sparkle was online and went over to go say hello. Oh, I see someone! Ooh. Hello! Hello, Red! How's it going? It's going well! Good. This, uh, this staircase is something. This is gonna be so yeah. nice. It's absolutely massive. It yeah. It's on going and yeah. going forever. All the way up. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It turned out really good, though. Thank you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I was wondering if you would want to go on a little adventure with me. <gasps> I need to do my task still, mm -hmm, and I want to mm -hmm. get an axolotl. So I was wondering if you'd want to go to a lush <gasps> cave with me. Yeah, that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, okay. the cute little axolotls. I, I do need lots of moss for my roof, so that actually works Perfect. out perfectly. So I'm down. Do you know where one is? I actually do, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna. gonna I'm gonna, first? Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say I'm gonna sleep real quick because I don't like traveling at night. We made it. We found okay. the dark that oak. Too bad. No, that was closer than I thought it would be, honestly. Maybe. Oh, I found one right here. Oh, you did? Yes, yes, yes. Right here. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, Yay. I have no idea how low this goes down. I know honestly. I know the trees can kind of be a little annoying. Yes. Well, we'll figure it out. I've, you know, I've brought some extra iron if we need to make multiple shovels. <laughs> as Sparkle dug our tunnel down, I collected as much rooted dirt as I could and minus some more coal for torches before Sparkle found an entrance to the lush cave. Okay, okay, I yes. <gasps> oh, okay, here we go. I'm putting my shield on. <gasps> Yay, look at that. Oh, oh. So we immediately started grabbing any spore blossoms we could find, moss, glow berries, small drip leaf, large drip leaf, more glow berries and moss, and some iron until Sparkle found an axolotl for her task. Ooh, I found a pink one too. We then collected up a bunch of clay, I found a water cave with a bunch of glow suede's that we grabbed some glowing from, and once Sparkle and I found everything we needed from the lush cave, we headed back out the way that we came. And once we reached the surface, we celebrated that Sparkle finally got her axolotl to mark off her first guild task. Then we were back in Sparkle's boat, headed back towards her house. And here we are, look at that. That was actually a very quick little adventure. Like, that did not take us long. So <laughs> yeah, we got so much. Yeah. Literally, like, Diamonds, yeah. axolotls. All the goods, all the goods. Also, I have more iron, if you want more iron. I mean, if you want to give it to me, go for it. <laughs> After saying our goodbyes, we parted ways so Sparkle could check off her task and I could start working on my house. 
Well, we've certainly had a lot of fun and adventures hanging out with our friends on the server. It is so nice to be back on an SMP with the girls and to meet some new friends, but I think it is time for us to finally take all the resources we've collected and finally build our house and get our stuff moved in. Enjoy the time lapse. And just like that, we have our house completed. We've got a little greenhouse attachment, and I think this is so pretty from the exterior. I used the tough bricks, the new blocks, and we also used copper for our door since it matches the warm tones of our chimney and the little clay pots very well. On the inside, however, we don't really have decorations done yet. I'm going to do that in the next episode, but we've got storage, our greenhouse, we've got our little cooking area that we'll decorate next time as well. Upstairs, we've got our bedroom and our little desk area that we'll set up. But I just wanted to show you kind of the bones of what we are going to be working with when we do decorate it in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of The Guild, adventuring with everybody in the caves, adventuring with Sev to find camel saddles, and adventuring with Sparkle to get a lot of these beautiful decorations from the Lush Cave. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.